this is the general and welcome back to Grim Fandango Remastered. Last time we talked to people. This time we're probably gonna talk to more people. So there you go. That's a beautiful recap for you and I'm going down the elevator. So <laughs> in my confusion I went to my casino to talk to uh... Oops! Don't drink. It's not a time to drink Manny. Get your priorities straight. So I <laughs> I wanted to go talk to uh, Maximilio, or at least find where he's at, and he's not at my casino. That's silly. So we need to go on over to the cat track, if you remember. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> but there's the, the VIP lounge where Gladys took her ticket. Should be up here. Fluffy's Rampage. And first Fluffy's Rampage. That's a beautiful name. In second place. What? Who? Dribble for kibble. Dribble for kibble. Coming around the mountain. <laughs> around the mountain. Yeah, there, Gladys. Hi, buddy. You watching the kitties? Yeah, you just. That's you the sugar papa likes. Oh wow. You chill. Oh, there's Nick. Beautiful. So we should go talk to Nick. What's that? Who needs a giant 24 karat gold cat? Ah, who needs a cat, period? Hmm. Who does need a cat at all? Right, so hang on a second. Right, so... Good kitty. Sorry about that little interruption. Good kitty. So let's head on over here to Nick. That, uh... Two-timing rat. Let's talk to him. Hello? Talk to me. Nick Virago. What are you doing working Virago. in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. Mm. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Oh, Got really? a little lipstick on you, lover boy. Yeah. <laughs> I want to. I already that up. got rid of that. Oh. And I can do the same to you, Calavera. <gasps> That's a key. Wait a minute. There was talk of a key in an envelope for me. So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. I bet you would, you sleazebag. So how about that key, huh? Uh, let's see. I need a lawyer, everything legal with the kitties. What do you like in the fourth race? Let's just try and chit-chat. Who do you like in the fourth race? Well, there's a white-footed tabby in gate two that's looking strong, but has a slight eye infection. <laughs> but you think he's going to pull out of it and win anyway, right? No, that puss-eyed puss is going to lose. But Aww. nobody knows, and I'm going to make a mint. No, oh, really. I have to tell this to someone. I, I have to tell this to someone. I hate cats. Me too, <laughs> but I keep the lights on around here. So, um, everything legal? Everything all legal, legal, legal boy? The kitties? Yes, they keep themselves pretty clean. You sound shady, but uh, I need a lawyer. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. Yes, I am in serious trouble. Um, no, I'm just starting a class action suit. Lots of money involved. You like money, right? Money's cool. I'm starting a class action suit. Lots of money involved. Mm -hmm. Who are you deep pocketing? What's the difference to you? <laughs> They're loaded. So will you be needing a regular lawyer oh, or an excellent lawyer? Oh, here we go. Lawyer? Well, an excellent lawyer, I suppose. An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer? Oh, the very best. The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Oh boy. Who would you say this guy is the is best very lawyer you know himself. in all the land of the dead? Oh, well, um, Judge Judy? She's pretty terrible. <laughs> uh, you are Nick. You are. You are Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry. That's not but a very I don't good basis. Odd jobs. Well, uh, you know, How's I'm not done with you. Nick? Yeah. I really need a lawyer. Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, Seriously. my dance card is full. So what are you going to do? I am going to tell Max about you and Olivia. 
Now there's an interesting idea. I can blackmail this sleaze bag. So I could go tell with Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a mm -hmm. man like Max into quite a rage. Yes, that would be the point. Especially if the messenger had no proof. Max I and I proof. are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want <laughs> to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. You're talking I've about got rumors. I to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you're Took gone. Took a picture of you, man. I'm sick of looking at you. I'm sick of listening to you. So... Bon voyage, little man. Hey, you left your... Ooh. You left what? your... It's a cigarette bus, case. Bus, yeah, bus. take it. Man, this is gonna get me in trouble. Good. We wanna be in trouble. Can you open it? There's something rattling inside. Yes, Must be in key. a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. Well... Let's put it away. Uh, you can't really combine items in your inventory, so I, you know, first order of ideas here would be to open it with like the can opener or something, right? Actually, this is the exit. That's the office. Let's go out this way. Um, we need an expert to open this for us. Do we know any experts that? Well, Gladys wouldn't be much help. He's up there drinking and watching kitty cats. Pity pat, pity pat, pity pat, pity pat. Pity pat. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's busy. So, uh, remember up in uh, the office here with Carla? There's this little, uh, this thing. The bomb disposal. Bomb opener, bomb getting rid of her. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, see if we can get her to put it in there, huh? Blow it wide open. Oh, I have so much stuff. How about this book we got? We should read that. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Chapter one, mm -hmm. the workers shall control the means of production. Ooh. Right. Better not show that to Gladys. <laughs> yeah, this time we probably should. So, it's Virago's cigarette case. It is. Uh, Carla, can you help me open What's this? What's that? Uh, I don't know. I found it under your desk. I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? Uh, uh <laughs> shifty-looking guy with crazy eyes. <laughs> no, there was a shifty-looking guy with crazy eyes who put it there. Oh my God! Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. It's a bomb! It works the other way too. Unattended baggage, right? That would still work. I just wanted to see if this would work. And it does! Ha ha! Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Oh, wow. you are fabulous. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. It but was here's a something. cigarette bomb. With a key in it. Lucky number. I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, you can analyze it with your metal detector. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it out and go all beep, 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 beep. Yup, that's metal, all right. And then I'll be all smug about it because I have a metal detector. Great. Uh, what was Nick doing with this key? What was that key for anyway? I'm gonna have to think about that. Probably open something useful. Uh, we're not done in here though. We should go back. You're doing it! Ooh, that was a waiter. Can we go in here? You're Let's go in the kitchen, it! see what's up there. Oh, hello, big boy. You toad man. You look like Blotters, kind of, in the body. <laughs> Same kind of body type. So he's rolling barrels into there. That kind of stuff makes me want to go in there. <laughs> so what's in here? Looks like cans of some sort of canned meat. Better oh, take some. I really some. hope this isn't where the old race cats end up. What if you get hungry? I don't need any cat meat. Oh, I guess you don't need cat meat. Matt Keat. 
I noticed something that in the corner. That monster upstairs is running there ragged. Oh, but monsieur, je suis très désolé. Yeah, oui, there oui. are no guests allowed in the kitchen. Oh. I must ask you to leave. In a minute, Pardon. Raoul. Raoul, that's not very French. Uh, let's put him in there. Close. Close the doors. You're never getting out. Uh. Yes. Put this here. This makes total sense. <laughs> Let's lock him in there. What do you know? It works. Now you're never getting out, sir. Hello? Hello? <laughs> hello, hello? Hello? Could somebody please reference? open the door? No. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I seem to have uh, locked myself in this teeny tiny room. Oh. I am actually very close to a phobic, so if somebody... Uh, S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. <laughs> oh, let me out of here. Immediatement. Oh, wow. Immediatement. You got it. Hey, I'm thirsty. Where's that waiter? You don't think you've had enough there, Gladys? Hmm? That does it. No? So what are you gonna do? You're just gonna help yourself <laughs> sneak in. Oh, Gladys. You have a serious drinking problem. Don't drink, kids. Fruity, but voluminous. If you do, do it in moderation. And when you're old enough. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this guy's in here. That's cool. But this thing, I wanted to get this. What is it? Some sort of needle? Some sort of knife? Looks like a turkey baster. Turkey baster? I'll be having that. Squeeze it. It's empty. Oh, well, take it anyway. So this guy went over here to the elevator, right? Oh. Dude, you're a loud sleeper. Look at him. Now that guy really needs his beauty rest. Yeah, he got lines under his eyes and everything. This guy. I'm just gonna go in here, okay? Hey! Hey, what's up? I'm trying to get some sleep over here. Yeah, well, try and get some sleep somewhere else. Um, I'm just passing Sorry. through. Sorry, don't mind me. Just passing through. To where? The elevator. Doubt it. You doubt it, huh? Um, go Going down? down? Probably later. Uh, can I go down to the can cellar? Can I go down to the cellar? It's a wine cellar. Yes. Wine goes down there. Do I have to turn myself into wine? I'm not Jesus, but I can try. Uh, <laughs> let's beat up hey, the waiter. Let's beat up that waiter. Not a bad idea, but he's new. Give him oh. a break. <laughs> Poor guy. New guy's locked in the closet. Maybe, Maybe you, you could, could take, take me, me down. down now. Oh, yeah. I could take you down, but I can't eat customers anymore. What? That's, no, down in the elevator. No, sir. down in the elevator. I want to go down in I don't the wanna... elevator. <laughs> That's true. They wouldn't see me hit you in there, but I oh, still get man. in trouble. You're not getting it. Just open the door. Open the elevator door. Then they really see us fighting. Now, come on, man. Why can't you hit Why them anyway? Why can't you hit customers anymore? Exactly. It makes no sense. <laughs> uh, I just want to use the elevator. I don't want to fight. I just want to use the elevator. Chicken. Oh, come on, man. Give me a break here. Bribe? How about a bribe? Look at me. What can you give to a guy who has <laughs> everything? Look at me. Look at me. I'm the elevator man now. Ah. <laughs> uh. Sorry about my Sorry friend. Sorry about my friend. I'll get him out of here if you want. Who, oh, Gladys? Yeah. No, he's all right. He's just got to pace himself. Mm. I can barely get any sleep between changing casks for him. Okay. Nighty night. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he just instantly falls asleep. So wine goes in the wine cellar, which means this will go in the wine cellar. Let's uh, look at this. Well, if I could crawl in through that spout, <laughs> I could hide in there. <laughs> Let's do it, Manny. You can crawl through spouts, right? Let's do it. Nothing. No. Uh. Not picking that up. Oh. Okay, okay. So. Can we go up this ladder? We can go up this ladder. 
Can we just like jump in here? There's no opening up here. Aha! Well, we good thing we have a can opener, right, guys? And a calculator, or whatever that thing is. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Yeah! Open up! Oh man, look at it go! Technology, man! That kind of technology is like, this is the 90s. Did they even have those can openers back then? This is nuts. Okay, let's jump in. Careful there, Manny. Don't fall off. And now we play the waiting well, game. somebody's sleeping on the job. No, I'm not. You're just gonna tiptoe in there. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> ah, it's empty. Ah. <laughs> not, Ruben, not entirely empty, but you? that hurts. Reuben? Glad is. Yeah, pick up my sights on me, will ya? Oh, mon dieu! <laughs> hey, a little nap a vu, eh? Well, le keg is le empty, so oh, come on. too sweet, Buster. Yes, monsieur. <laughs> le keg. Merci anything you say. Hey, Joe, no wine. Oh, I'm going to foul oh, him I'm gonna for just ignoring pick my up pleas. This and then I believe I shall quit. <laughs> oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man should ever be locked up in such a small, Aww. dark place. Poor new guy. I'm sorry, man. It was necessary. I needed to go down here for some reason unknown to me. <laughs> you head on up there, Sonny. So, we find ourselves in the wine cellar, right? Um, I don't think I'm missing anything yet. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, it's very confusing. Uh, never want to go near another one of those. Just a few episodes ago, we were like planning to get out of here, and now we're still uh, stuck here. Never want to go near Doing another one of those. Lord knows what. We're just trying to get that suitcase so we can get the union card, right? If you even remember. It's not that long ago, but it feels like it. And we have to go through all this trouble just to uh, get there. So, there's a forklift, and I just got on it. Let's take it with us. I don't think there's anything here for us except barrels, and he keeps complaining about them. So there you go. Can we turn it around? Can we exit it? Good. Jump out on that side. Now this is a tricky part of the game. Uh, I'll try to do it on my first attempt. But basically what you have to do is you need to start up the elevator. You need to get on here quickly. Quickly. Come on, Manny. Come on, Manny. Come on. And then... Oh. Okay, are we doing it? I think so. Yes, in we go. <laughs> we stopped the elevator. If you didn't know what to do here, that would have been really challenging and time consuming, you know. For the sake of internet video entertainment, I present to you the solution. <laughs> so let's operate this lever here. That's the, yeah, all right, good. So into the darkness we go. Hope we find something interesting. What is this place anyway? What's a... Is some big empty hallway with scribbles on the wall? Alright, let's go to the end of it. Ooh, a suitcase. Good. Dios mio, it's full of double-end tickets. Whoa. This could get a hundred souls on the number nine train. Whoa, Something's whoa, whoa. not right about this. I get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than Chow Chilla Charlie. Yeah, that's not money. That's more than money. So I just walk out of there like, da da da, nobody's gonna see me with this giant suitcase that totally doesn't belong to me. Whoa. All right, Manny. Give me the case. Charles, I thought we had a bargain. No, we what are do. you doing? But I thought I'd bring some muscle along just in case. Don't sprout me. What's the matter, Chuck? Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you? <laughs> I'm all the goon I need. Now drop it. 
Easy, Charlie. You said it, boss. Can I at least have my union card? Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the union, yeah. Danny. Meetings first Tuesday of awesome. every month, and uh, don't forget to pay your dues. Mm hmm. Got my card, baby. Whoop, whoop. Don't forget to pay my dues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Ha ha ha. Union. All right, so we have about um, a couple more minutes to go here, so let's um, have a think. We got a key from Nick. Well, we stole a key from Nick that he stole from us. So, we just took back what was ours. It's a doggy dog world, right? And if I'm not mistaken, that key is used to open something. <laughs> but what? Uh, I do not think it's this way. Let's just go over here for the sake of going here so you guys there know what's it is. here. Max's giant cat racetrack. How's that a regular guy massive. with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that? Yeah. How am I supposed to? There's a lighthouse. Alright, we should go see the lighthouse. Is this the way to the light? La la la? <laughs> I don't think so. No. This is this uh, crazy guy who lives in his rusty bunker. I don't think we'll be back here soon enough. There's nothing here for us. We need to get to the lighthouse. I think that's where we need to put our key. Very confusing, yes, but this is how these games work. <laughs> Normally you'd wander around for hours on end looking for something, looking for love in all the wrong places. Is this the way? And the card? Let me see it. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, one of Charlie's rush jobs. Good oh, thing your man. new captain's far-sighted. Oh, mm, good. Still no room for you on board. No word from Naranja, but he's done this before. But mm. I'm first on the waiting list. As it were, yeah. And don't forget that Gladys has got to bring his own tools. Oh, yeah. He will. He doesn't go anywhere without a lot of tools. Good, because neither does the limbo. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. <laughs> right. Let's not stand around. Well, that was not the right way, but all things considered, that worked pretty good. So, lighthouse is way down this way, probably past these guys, CBs. Don't mind me, CBs. I'm just going on through. I'll talk to you later. Okay? Don't worry about it. Bye. Ah, yes, the lighthouse. That's good to know. We've freshened up with the uh, the captain there. Our union card would uh, will suffice, although he saw straight through it. So let's it's see. locked. It is locked. Luckily, we have a key that we could use. Select. Enter. Bingo was his name. Oh, uh. let's go on in here. Cutscene. Lola? Careful, Manny. You may not want to see me like this. Lola? Lola? Did Nick do this to you? Yeah, he wanted that She's been sprouted. Bad, but he's never gonna find it, that fink. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Oh, Lola. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny, would I have had a chance? Never mind. Mm -hmm. She just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men, or she'll end up just like me. At least you turn into Tell beautiful her to get flowers. Tell a nice guy, Manny, like you. Lola! Lola! It's magical, isn't it? Poor Lola. <gasps> Quick, get this. Manny. Oh, Lola. Spare a moment of thought. For hey, Lola. there's a picture of a tongue on it. And it says number 22, Lengua. All right, so as I stand here, in the memory of poor Lola, 
Let's uh, let's all bow our heads in sorrow. Give her a give her a moment. All right. Thank you very much. But that's a perfect place to end it. So let's be cheerful again. Someone just died. Hooray! <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We are really getting closer. We got our union card. We got this ticket stub. I'll let you think about that one. Where do you think we bring it? We already know because we've been given the clues. <laughs> all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I've been the general. Thank you all for watching. Eddie.